In Fortnite, knowing where the loot is is one of the most important parts of not only landing, but the game as a whole, especially considering getting that certain shield or gun from a chest could make or break your game. And hard decisions get people killed out there. We don't want you dying, and we know you want to get that chest that you and that other guy flew to because all the other nope. spots are taken, but you can't make it anywhere else, so you're both stuck fighting over it. And we here at Top 5 Gaming do not take our looting lightly, and so we've compiled a list of 10 hidden chests in Fortnite that you might not know about specifically for these situations, and in case you happen to pass by any of these spots. Because a lot of times people just leave these chests unopened because they don't know about them, and free that's real free estate. real estate. Speaking of free real estate, you know you could own that subscribe button for free by giving it a little love tap and more importantly if you like the video they'll bring back thanos in fortnite maybe just maybe number 10 the professor x mansion next to lonely lodge on the eastern side of the map there's a giant mansion that isn't marked by a name but it looks pretty much just like the house of professor xavier from the x-men franchise the house where he taught and looked after all of the kid mutants that he could find well in this house there's actually a hidden hero base down in the basement that looks out over the eastern ocean and the islands that are further away there are a whole bunch of chest spawns in the location Location, from the gym at the top of the house to the hero base at the bottom. Number 9. Mini Crater Outside of Anarchy Acres when we heard that a giant meteor was crashing down onto the Fortnite map, we didn't realize that it would involve a bunch of smaller meteors hitting other areas as well, leaving smaller craters, and one of these smaller craters is right next to Anarchy Acres, which has up to three chests that can spawn there. Not only can you get the chests from this area, but you can pick up the anti-gravity crystals from the crater as well. Now, other craters around the map are slowly starting to be paved over like the one in Tilted Towers, so who knows if this mini crater will be there for long. Number 8. Studio Outside of Anarchy Acres what will probably stay around are the new buildings that are right next to the mini crater. Right next to the crater, there's a small studio area that looks strangely like the set of the sitcom That 70s Show, and you can find some more chests hidden away there as well. Chests can spawn in the studio and in the garage truck out front. I've seen like four chests spawn here at once, which is a lot, especially considering how small the area actually is. Number 7. Secret Lair Under the Blue House in Salty Springs We've already talked about the big Professor X-style superhero base, but did you know that there's also a smaller secret lair under the blue house in Salty Springs. If you go down into the basement of the blue building and then destroy the boxes under the basement stairs, you'll find another set of stairs. This takes you down into a much smaller superhero base that has two potential chest spawns, meaning that the house has like four or five chest spawns just by itself. Number six, stream setup chest that's shifty shafts. Epic Games knows that the only reason Fortnite Battle Royale is so widely popular is because of the YouTubers and streamers that work hard pretty much every day to bring Fortnite content out. Without streamers, there would probably be much less people people playing and talking about the game. Basically, there's this house near Shifty Shafts that had a basement added to it, and in that basement is a setup that looks a lot like something a streamer or a YouTuber would use. There's a computer, a microphone, a camera, and a bunch of green screens. Whoever lived in that place clearly had a pretty good setup. Oh, and there are chest spawns too. Number 5. Mini Crater at Snobby Shores Snobby Shores is a pretty underrated area to go. There are a whole bunch of houses with a whole bunch of loot chests in the area, and recently one of those mini craters we were talking about earlier has appeared there to make it an even better drop location. Again, there are three chest spawn locations and some shards that you can pick up as well to bounce really high. Number 4. Villain's Hideout in the Mountain at Snobby Shores now, those bouncing shards that I just mentioned will be very useful if you want to hop up onto the brand new secret villain's hideout, which is tucked away in the mountain right next to Snobby Shores. With a giant rocket sticking out of the top and the front of the building looking like a spooky skull, you might feel a bit intimidated, but nope. you really shouldn't because once again, there are a whole bunch of new chest spawns in this location, and if you go there straight after the mini crater, you'll probably be more than set up enough for the rest of the game. Number three, the dinosaur footprint location between Snobby and Greasy Grove. Even though the meteor was probably probably the coolest thing that had been added to Fortnite Battle Royale so far, there's something else on the map that already hints to the next season. Something that could be even cooler. Between Snobby Shores and Greasy, there's a little shack. You know the kind. They're all over the map. Just little one floor buildings that aren't interesting at all. Except this one, because this one looks as if it's been stepped on by a giant dinosaur. And by the size of the footprint, this thing is going to be massive. Not only is this a cool hint to the future of Fortnite Battle Royale, but there are pretty much always one or two chests to pick up here too. Number 2. Risky Reels Location in the opening cutscene to the new Fortnite season, we got our first look at a drive-in theater, which is actually now a location in the game called Risky Reels. At the Risky Reels drive-in theater, they show classic films such as Revenge of Bree's Dog Part 2, It Came from Moisty Meyer, and of course, what is it? An ant story. Oh, and there are a whole load of chests in the area, like at least six of them. There are chests in the houses, chests on the cars, and in the trucks, a chest in the stable, and a chest on the back of the theater screen itself. Like, 
That's a lot of chests for a single location. Number one, the secret chest in the Dusty Divot ice cream truck. Ice cream trucks are a bit of a meme when it comes to Fortnite Battle Royale. They have a whole bunch of health, they don't give you any materials, and there's basically no reason to break them unless you want to be able to say, I broke an ice cream truck in Fortnite. Well, that's true for all ice cream trucks, except from one, and that's the ice cream truck in Dusty Divot. This truck has the same amount of health as you would expect, which is 10,000 hit points and gives you basically no materials. The only difference is that this truck has a secret chest hiding inside of it. Now this chest isn't special at all, it only gives you what any other chests would, which can include of course common and uncommon weapons, so it probably isn't worth breaking the thing, no, no, it isn't worth breaking the thing, but it's still a pretty cool addition and finally gives you a reward for breaking open the ice cream truck. But that has been our list of 10 hidden Fortnite chests you might not know about. If this video has helped you out in any way, shape, or form, be sure to click that like button, or if you enjoyed, be sure to click it as well. Subscribe to the channel because it's free real estate. It's free real estate. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.